Okay guys, I'm here with my buddy Chris. I love this guy. He is the creator of Keto Chow and honestly, we've become like good friends. And I think this is why I'm so excited to be here at KetoCon. Yeah. So why did you create Keto Chow? Okay, it's because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> this, he's like a comedian. I've been dealing with this all weekend long. So I'm an engineer um, by training, and that's just kind of what I do. Um, I say I'm lazy. My wife say, says that I'm relentlessly optimizing. I'm always looking for a way to make something easier. When I, yeah, she, she's like, I don't say that. Yeah, you do. Um, I, I was looking for a way to make doing keto easier for me. Um, and I was getting the wrong nutrients. I was getting the wrong electrolytes, wrong protein, everything. So I came up with this this shake mix. You mix up with water and as much fat or as little fat as you want. I called it Keto Chow. I published the recipe for free on the internet and turns out other people were a little bit lazier than me. They wanted me to make it for them. So that's what we do. We make, we, we have the, the shake mix mixed up. Well, it's, it's in a powder form. You mix it up with water and fat, and it makes a meal. So it's designed to be a third of everything you need. Because once again, I'm lazy. Um, I wanted something that I could have for one meal a day or two meals a day. I've gone so far as to eat it for three meals a day for 100 days, mostly just to prove a point. But well, we're I about to eat. prove a point. Please, I didn't die. Die. Now, guys, <laughs> I love this guy, and here's the thing, is that he sent us, he's like one of the first companies to say, hey, can you guys try my product, and he sent it to us, and we weren't super nice. I mean, we weren't mean, but we were like, I wouldn't do it. Yeah. And you reached okay. back out yeah. to me, and I don't know, we just developed this relationship, and we've spent the last three days hanging out with him and his family. They have six kids, guys. Six kids. Can They're the most incredible the most people and the most beautiful wife. wife. Ever. Miss Miriam is just absolutely the best lady ever. So the biggest reason we said that we wouldn't do the keto chow was because, like, I want to eat my food. But you've got a challenge for us. Yeah, so... Okay, so most people, you don't do it three meals a day. That's, that's Which a Which I didn't insane. know when we gave yeah. the review. We thought we were supposed to just eat it that our yeah. meal. So well, that was part of the bad review. It's designed so that you can. If you had dental surgery, if you, I don't know, the wife's going out of town and you don't want to cook for a week. Or I'm going out of town and Rachel needs to stay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you can do it three meals a day. You will not get a nutritional deficiency. That's the that's the design. But most people do it like once or twice a day. But well, I believe thoroughly in my product. So I went so far as to do it for a hundred days. Miriam has done it for four weeks. Um, Holly, who's running around over there, she did it for four weeks as well. And so. Well, the challenge I did at the beginning of 2019 was do it for 100 days. I don't think Joe's quite good enough to do it for 100. No, I can't handle 100 days. But I want to see if we can do it. Seven. If we can do it for, you want to do it for a full seven or five? We're, no, we're going to do it for seven. Seven, seven days. days. Seven days. Da, 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 Nothing da, da. but keto chow. You can chew <laughs> sugar-free gum if you like that. No, I, I don't chew. I you can't chew gum? gum. I have dental, a okay. dental removable dentures. Ooh, all can I have Zedia? Where did you get that? Okay, so... I've done the all keto chow thing a couple of times. The first time I did it was for 28 days. I did absolutely nothing but keto chow. I wanted to eliminate all variables. Okay. So I didn't have diet soda. I didn't have any like heavy cream and anything. No caffeine, no nothing. It was literally keto chow, water, and some salt if I did. Okay. I did not see any difference when I reintroduced yeah, diet right. soda. Okay. So if you have well, I'm no just going to do Zevia because I've given okay. up aspartame in my life. Nice. So we can do, we can make it any way we want, right? Yep. Butter, heavy cream, avocado oil. Yeah, I'd recommend salted butter. Salted butter. So I the, only carry, use carry gold anyway. And boy, big spender. <laughs> hey. You know what? We grass You're fed beef. It? We eat pasture-raised no, eggs. Oh. Yeah, she's definitely right. Grass-fed beef, pasture-raised eggs, and only carry gold butter. Okay. And my food bill is half of what it was okay. before. Nice. Because I don't buy potato chips. Yeah. I don't buy Starbucks. I don't buy candy or any of the garbage. Yeah. So we just transferred the money. Okay. But I don't have six kids. Yeah, well. <laughs>
Well, okay, nice. so we can make it any way we want from you the can. challenge. And if you do it with butter, so that was one of actually one of the cool things with the 100 day challenge. I didn't know I did. about that, you didn't tell me about that last Oh, time. so with the 100 day challenge, when I was doing it, I was using different types of fat to see what they did to my lipids in isolation. Because that's really hard to do. I mean, how do you isolate? What effect does heavy cream right. have versus avocado versus butter versus avocado with MCT? And so I was getting blood tests. I was doing it for two weeks each one, and getting blood tests every week. And uh, it turns out for me, heavy cream actually is great. Avocado oils, it's fine, but it, it, I don't really like the taste. Avocado oil with MCT makes my personally triglycerides go up and my HDL go down. That's interesting. And then with heavy with butter, my HDL came back up and my triglycerides went down. And this is, I don't want to discount her. Beverly, this really nice lady, she did the same 100 day challenge concurrent with me and got similar results. Wow. So MCT, I actually don't use it anymore because of the results I got with that. And I only use butter now. Because it tastes amazing. I don't know. If I'm gonna have. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem eating butter. Okay. Butter but yeah. and this stuff is incredible. So you uh, you use warm water, you use melted butter and a blender, and it mixes up and it, you can put it in the fridge then and it won't separate. Okay. Um, the the fiber that we're using acts as an emulsifier. It keeps it nice and mixed up. Well, this sounds like it's so easy that even Rachel can make it. Yeah. Hey, my kids can make it. So. Okay. Well, the Rachel challenge is on. We've got to take at least, we're, we want to, how about we start it next week? We've got to take a week for our ketones and the stuff to return to normal after eating all this stuff. Oh, yeah, probably. So we'll start it next Monday. Nice. Next Monday? Uh, next Monday, seven days, and we will record our results. Nice. Gonna we'll do check, it daily? We'll do it daily. We'll check our blood glucose. We're, I'm, I'm curious because I keep having like the dawn of the phenomenon where like I wake up with, with a higher blood glucose and then it drops. So I'm interested to see if this changes it. Okay. And then we'll check our ketones. Sweet. So, okay? Thank you for being so awesome. This is going to be awesome. awesome. I'm excited about ever. this. Yes, and great family. Some of our new friends. Got to spend some time hanging out with them, eating dinner last night. Great people, guys. Go check out the website.